It was Maggie. It was Maggie. I, we told you you'd find out the next time. <laughs> yeah, I told, yeah, I told you you'd find out next time on Lars. Yeah, we keep Millhouse our promises. Dressed up as girls. What? Just to like see what it was like. Yeah, just to see. <laughs> you got the dud. It's Marge. <laughs> you got the dud. That was a Marge. That was Marge from from. <clears throat> Marge. <laughs> can you put the can you put the bomb on there? No, I'm gonna put the statue. Oh my god! You don't, yeah, you don't even need to. Bro, put the statue he's on solving there. the puzzles laterally. I love lateral thinking. I'm gonna look up lateral thinking puzzles. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna look up puzzles and do them. I think it's fun that. to invent puzzles for yourself. Like, how am I gonna eat my cereal without a spoon? You know? You right. just drink it. Check it out. See, you're so good at this. Oh, wow, hey. All right, check it out. The man in the elevator. A man lives on the 10th floor of the building. Every day okay. he takes the, shut up. Every day he takes the elevator to go down to the ground floor and to go to work or to go shopping. When he returns, he takes the elevator to the seventh floor and walks up the stairs to reach his apartment on the tenth floor. He hates walking, so why does he do it? This is probably the best known celebrate. This is the probably best known and most celebrated of all the lateral thinking puzzles. It's a true classic. So that's so now you understand and can appreciate it a bit better. No, wait, but he hates walking. Yeah, so you have to figure out why he does what he does. Uh, stay in shape. I don't know. If I were to guess, and this probably isn't right, uh, I, I'm assuming that the... Uh, the elevator is broken. No. Hmm. Hang oh, on. Hammer. Every day he goes to the... He, he takes the elevator to go down to the ground floor and go to work or go shopping. When he returns, he takes the elevator to the seventh floor and walks up the stairs to reach his apartment on the tenth floor. That's another place you can go. That is another place you can go. I was going to say, like, what if there's, like, three sub-basements, and so he lives, like, the top floor is the seventh floor, and it's, like, a tenth-floor building, but then it says he he walks up the stairs from the seventh floor to the tenth. Uh, well, Jackson. Well, it could still be the... What do you think? The, the, the seventh floor. Uh, well, he, no, it's because it says he walks from the seventh floor to the tenth floor. Jackson, what do you think? I'm not listening. I'm sorry. You little boy. What? Why? You little boy. I'm trying to figure out how to fucking do this puzzle. Mm. Well, hit that thing. This th opens this over here. I'm gonna look up the answer. <laughs> now, I can, now I can walk over here, but I can't get over there. Uh, but there's a thing in the middle of this room, and you can throw a bomb at that and get in the middle. See? Here's a story. Oh, this is, this is a stupid answer. It's because he's Ready? short. He can't reach the top buttons. <laughs> That's a dumb answer. That's so yeah, fucking I mean, stupid. Here's a story about a dog named Victor who fucking bit off his owner's fucking face. Stop spoiling Clock Tower, bro. What's streams. <laughs> what streams? Don't talk about streams I'm not on, all right? Yes, sir. Damn right. I'm all right, check it out. <clears throat> a man walks into a bar and asks the barman for a glass of water. The barman pulls out a gun and points it at the man. The man what says the thank fuck? you and walks out. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. We have to figure this out, dude. Uh, you, have to, you have to run on this? I know. Hold on. I'm trying to... You gotta he... speed run this. Speed, speed is nuts. Go, go. Bro, you're so fucking you cool fucking... and fast. You... What a <laughs> dick! You suck my willy. Fuck that little Pterosaurus Rex, Hey, dude. you suck my willy willy. See me in the, see see me in billy, the streets. Billy. They see me doing duty duty. Um, I can't, I don't know. He asks for the barman for a glass of water. The barman pulls out a gun and points it at the man. The man says thank you and walks out. Um. So if I'm we're. Stumped. Uh, yeah, no, I I don't know. If, if it's going to be fucking answers like because he was short, then I don't fucking know what these puzzles are going to want us to do. It's because he was racist, and he liked having guns pointed. <laughs> it was because he was racist. All right, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> oh, my God. What's what the, answer? the answer? The man had hiccups. The barman recognized from his speech and drew his gun to give him a shock. It worked and cured his hiccups, so the man no longer needed the water. How the fuck? There was no indication that this man had hiccups. That's the point <laughs> of lateral thinking. <laughs> but then it could be anything. You could just make shit at, up. At that exactly. point, it's just like a fucking creative writing prompt. Exactly. Like, I, to fucking why? Why did it? Why did the guy pull a gun? Because the other man was wearing a shirt that said "Pull a gun on me." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, what the fuck? How 
Oh. Think outside the box, Robbie. Check it I'm out. I'm thinking outside the bun. Taco check, Bell. Check the it stream out. is sponsored by Taco Bell. It's, no, it's not. not. Check Check it out. There's a large wooden barn, which is completely empty. Can you empty fucking except stop? There's, uh, listen to me about the large wooden barn now. There's a large wooden barn, which is completely empty, except for a dead man hanging from the middle center of the center rafter. The rope around his neck is 10 mm -hmm. feet long, and his feet are 3 feet off the ground. The nearest wall is 20 feet away from the man. Is it, not, is, is, it is not possible to climb up the walls along the rafters. The man hanged himself. How did he do it? Short he was short. <laughs> he he was, had the hiccups. <laughs> he, had a, he had a shirt on that said, please point a gun at me. <laughs> yeah, like, um, Let me through! Let me through! Get you through! That's another Game Grumps joke. Uh, so add that to the crime counter. <laughs> guy. Um, oh, a compass. Compass. The rope is 10 feet long, and his feet are 3 feet off the ground. Like, I'm kind of just want to look up the answer to see how, like, angry I'm going to get at it. Yeah, I, like, don't like any of the ones that we've gotten. So you get a lot of rupees in here. Yeah, well, it's not worth it because they're all going to go away as soon as they fucking die. Thank you, Mr. Coolahan or whatever. No, this uh, is this is not the this is not the Mark Coolahan room. Not Mark Coolahan, excuse me. Yeah, it's also Coolahan. He climbed on a block of ice and then it melted. It melted. Fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Fuck I remember up. that one. I don't know. I've never heard the barn variant before. I've like I've heard that riddle, but never the barn variant. The barn variant, and then this dude. This is just the. Yeah, well, What's like this room? What's well, like? How we do, got a how key do, now. Yeah, I have two keys now. Dude, I have one key now. A man is lying dead in the field. Next to him is an unopened package. There is no other creature in the field. How did he die? There's an open package. No, there's a there's an unopened package. How did he die? Yeah. There's no creatures in the field. There's no creatures in the field. Fuck. Uh, he died of old age. My wife. <laughs> there are actually three answers to this one, Jackson. <laughs> yeah, of course there's three answers. <laughs> There's an everybody. infinite amount of fucking. He got struck by lightning. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? This Check it out. Game is from the dark world. Check it out. There was a package dropped from an overflying chopper. The packet hit a person in the field, and it was knocked dead. Okay. Number two, that the man sense. had jumped from a plane, but his parachute had failed to open. It is the unopened package. Three. The man is highly allergic to the plant growth in the field and it suffocated him. The package Shut the is fuck up! The, the package is just something he was carrying and has no implication <laughs> to the puzzle. <laughs> are these like are these aren't like puzzles that there's supposed to be an answer to, right? Like these Let are me, just creative writing. Like, I don't know, man. Hang on. Lateral thinking lateral puzzles thinking. are strange situations which are, are which you are given time and little information and have to find an explanation. They're solved through a dialogue between the quiz master who says... So, okay, I think my, my misunderstanding is that lateral thinking puzzles really are just like, figure out a way that this could have possibly happened and not like, there, I gave you all the clues, Mr. Policeman, you know? I gave you all the clues, Mr. Policeman. <clears throat> so let's, let's uh, how about instead of lateral thinking puzzles, I look up riddles. And we'll 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 see what we can find. Uh, okay. okay, I'll do you're, a riddle. You're, you're that bored of my gameplay? You don't think I'm cool? You died. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Now you know what it's like to be having a difficult time playing a, a fucking top-down pixelated child's game. game. <laughs> a pixelated child's game from the top down. <laughs> exactly. This is why. I, this is why I gave you fucking Pokemon. It's because I I was also having a hard time. What month of the year has twenty-eight days? February. Wrong. All of them. What? What? I think you were supposed to take the key to the other room. <laughs> Go back up. Is there something you can do in the, the spiky room, like to the right? Oh, this room? No, 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 no. In the in the room that you just tried to run through, but you got hit by spikes. The room yeah. right before this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me go all the way back over and find yeah, it. I mean, yeah, you gotta. Nice. Can you reset the dungeon if you fuck up? Can you fuck up dungeons? I don't know. Well, I mean, you can go back to the beginning of the dungeon with a mirror. <gasps> yeah, but that's not what I mean. This is something I know to be Satan. All right. Hey, the I'm dinosaur's not there. No more. Um, I have a question. What do you want? What uh, what needs to be broken before you can use it? Um, this one actually makes sense. Uh, this just kills me. <laughs> I don't know. An egg. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, see now now we're having fun. You're having fun now. This is fun. This is great. I'm just having so much fun with my friends. Dude, that thing is panicking. 
That thing's fucking scared. That thing's scared. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get another key? Well, we got the compass now, right? So we can we can actually check. I could just do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could just fucking end this game. Yeah. All right, check it out. To end off this episode of Liars Club, we're gonna here's a here's a little riddle. What question can you never answer yes to honestly? Was it good for you too? <laughs>